Okay, well, I don't know if you can see me, but I am inside of the bus. It is like 9.45 p.m. And so what happened was we waited and waited and waited. It was like 8 o'clock. <laughs> now everyone's listening to me on the bus. Uh -huh. <laughs> so anyway, so it was like 8 o'clock and we were like tired and we're like, what the freak is going on with the car? So me and this girl named Lucy, you know, Lucy, okay. So this girl named Lucy and I and this other little girl, we, who's like 16 maybe, we walked back to the car, which was like three kilometers, and Lucy kept telling me that we were going to get freaking like Volnindka and all this stuff. So I'm scared out of my mind, and we're like walking, and it's dark, and she told us to like turn our light off so that like bad people couldn't follow us and like yeah, mug us. <laughs> so we finally made it back. It was like giant mud tracks that you've seen. And so we made it back, and then... Um, so, oh my gosh, I was so ticked. So we come back and they're like, three of the dudes that are like helping with the car are sitting on the side of the road, starting a fire to cook vari. And I was like, what are you doing? And they're like, we're, he we're like Mahanjur vari. And I was like, you're doing what? I didn't know the vari. no. So they were like, yeah, we're like cooking rice. And I was like, well, what about the car? And they're like, oh, it's broken. I was like, well, fix it. And they're like, no, we can't, like, blah, 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 we need, like, lights and all this stuff, and I was like, well, what else can we do, and they're like, oh, we can't, we're, like, waiting for a truck to bring us lights and a battery, and I was like, oh, well, that's great, so then I talked to the driver who was, like, still sitting in the car, I was like, hey, what's up, and he's like, um, I don't know, we're waiting for, like, lights from this truck that's gonna come, and I was like, do you actually know what's gonna come, he's like, no, but we saw it, like, a while back, I was like, oh, awesome, so then, I was like, well, what's the number of the of your like your office in Vuibar at the town we're trying to get to and he's like oh I don't know I'm like what you don't know the number of the place you're going to and he was like no we don't have their phone number like it's in my other phone but that phone's dead I was like are you freaking serious and he's like yeah I was like oh my gosh so I looked on my ticket and called the number of the dude that sold me my ticket back in Abu Bay and I was like dude give me the number of your office in Vuibar now <laughs> he's like okay call me back in five minutes I was like fine so I called him back five minutes later, I was like, what's the number? And he's like, he gave it to me. So then I called it and gave it to our driver, and our driver talked to him. Nothing came of that. A bunch of bunch of whatever. So then there, so I was like, oh, I was so mad. Anyway, so then they're still cooking rice. I got out of the car to like, oh no, I'm sitting in the car and there's like someone like shining a light out in the woods. And they're all laughing because they keep saying Mangiri. <laughs> see they're all laughing see? <laughs> so there's this guy there's this guy like over in the bushes like shining a light around and I was like who's this dude over in the bushes with the light and they're like and they're like who 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 and I was like over there <coughs> And they're like, oh no, it's a Taulu. And I was like, a what? Like, oh no, it's a Taulu. Like a, like a, a, what would that be? Like someone who lives out in the woods and like hijacks people's cars and like steals their money and kills them and stuff. And I was like, uh oh. And then they like, someone looked over there and they said, oh no, it's just like a guy that's Mangiri. He's like going to the, he's like, <laughs> he's like taking a poo in the woods. I was like, oh, okay. So then I jumped out of this car, which is like, three feet, three or four feet off the ground from like the step to the ground. And I tried to miss the mud that we're like, <laughs> is right underneath the door. And I ended up in a giant puddle of like soupy mud on the other side of the rut. And so my feet completely covered in mud, my shoes completely covered in mud. So awesome. So then I went and used the bathroom, came back, got in the, washed my feet off with my Ovive bottle. And I crawled onto this bench, which you can't see because it's dark and talked to Elder Marsh and Elder Bajera for like five, ten minutes. Some guy came along in a truck and pulled our car slightly out of the way, which was really nice, and then he left us, which was not very nice. And now here we are, quarter to ten, Thursday night, and we're going to sleep in the truck until morning when we can drive our car again. Yay! So yeah, here we are. Alright, well, hopefully I'm still alive when I try and talk to you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.